and E.T. is coming at you live from Comic-Con with three of the stars from The Walking Dead. Hey, guys. Hi. Hi. Happy Comic-Con. Happy Comic-Con to you. Thank you so much for taking time out of your crazy con weekend to come sit down with us. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> um, congratulations. It's your very first Comic-Con. Yes. Is it a lot to take in? It is a lot, but in a good way. Yeah, definitely. We've been really busy meeting everybody, and that's really fun. When you guys had such an amazing panel yesterday, yeah. we now know that The Walking Dead is coming out on October 6th. That's right. We yep. got our first look at an unbelievable season 10 trailer. What was it like for you guys to be able to see such a long trailer? You guys have been really working hard for such a long time. Yeah, there's a lot of shockers in there. You have uh, a certain uh, female friend of mine kissing a king, which kind of pisses Daryl off yeah. a little bit. Yeah. We got Ooh. a really good bad guy this season. Um, there's a lot going on, right? Yeah. There's a lot, but that was my first time seeing the trailer, and it looked awesome. Yeah, mm. and that was your first Hall H panel. Yes. Was it a lot? Yes. <laughs> she was, was the most professional one up on that stage. They asked her a question, and she <laughs> man straight on it. <laughs> Just like on set. So, yeah, exactly yeah. like yeah. on set. She knows her lines and our lines better than we do. Okay, I gotta know, what are these guys like on set? Is there um, a swear jar? Yes, but it's not, well... Yeah, she tried. but I tried, but so here's the thing. <laughs> hey, here we go. There's a swear jar, but people don't want to pay. So they there's I'd different be words <laughs> cost different amounts. That's how it was in the beginning. And then people got mad because, especially Dan, because <laughs> I was like, I would always hang out with him and... <clears throat> like off of set and then he would say so many things and then he didn't want to pay and so now there's only certain words and they all cost the same so only the really bad ones <laughs> but well they don't Chandler did the same thing. Really? Yeah. I swear, George. Yeah. Yeah. It, it, it would yeah. pay for college. It, 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 <laughs> if, we, if we paid up and she could I'm retire. <laughs> yeah, I, there's no way I'm paying up. I, yeah. I mixed it up for like day up. two. Day two, I was like, that we can't do this anymore. Let's talk about season 10. We are gearing up for a Whisperer's War, which is a bit of a tongue twister. Why is this going to be unlike any other battle we've seen on The Walking Dead? Ooh, it's different. There's, it's, there's a whole theme of paranoia this year because you don't know who's who, and yeah. it's starting to cause a rift within the groups on who you can trust, and, and there's spies. It's a whole creepy way of doing things this year. Yeah, the Whispers are a really different threat. Mm -hmm. They're really scary. And you can't tell if they're a walker or a whisperer, so you, I mean, Jesus. <laughs> what? That's a square Jesus. dollar right That's there. a dollar oh, right there. Give me a dollar. Oh, oh that <laughs> was, I was right there with you, girl. I got you it. You know what I mean? I know what oh, that guy. Um, we're going to be seeing Negan actually get to get out of his cell this year, yeah. stretch his legs a little bit. Yeah. How are you feeling about that, finally? Really, you know, I remember last year at the beginning of the season, Angela, the showrunner, and I talking about, uh, you know, the, a year in the cell. And I thought at the time, oh, this will be cool. Well, I mean, this will be... Uh, as an actor, this is going to be quite a, a way to go. And then after, like, midway through the season, I, I was going crazy. I, I literally was going stir-crazy. So to get out again and interact with some people uh, has been, uh, it's good for me and Negan. Well, Kaylee, Judith is such a little firecracker, just like yourself. But I'm curious to know, what are your favorite types of scenes to shoot? Do you like the action scenes, the more emotional scenes? Um, I like the action scenes. I think those are my favorite. I like to kill walkers. Yeah, and you're very good at them. Thank you. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I like to kill the walkers because I'm a dancer. And as a dancer, I do dancing routines. And it's kind of like you have to make up a sword routine and you have to rehearse it. Choreography. Yeah. Choreography, yeah. that's yeah, yeah. the word. Nice. I help you. And, thank you. <laughs> and that's fun for me. And then I never have scenes with the same people. So those are my favorite. Yeah. I feel like we need to get you like a signature weapon. She's got one. She's got it. She's got two. I got two. She got two. That's true. But if you had to choose between one, oh, well, bullets are bullets are. You're kind of running out of bullets. Well, I never use the gun. Yeah. It's I huge. <laughs> when she <laughs> holds up that yeah. gun, it, it, it <laughs> weighs was, twenty pounds. There's a scene. The scene where. What about the scene when you shot me? Off the bike. Not that one. But the scene where Negan is climbing up the wall, mm -hmm. 
Um, oh, yeah. And he throws his shovel over the wall. That scene, how long was that scene? It was a long scene. because. And you, I had to hold that up yeah, the whole time. You know, Megan doesn't shut up. So it was like yeah. four minutes of her having a <laughs> gun and on me. And, and he was, was talking just... so slow because the scene was emotional. And there was a, they kept doing close-ups on the gun. And so I couldn't, because there's a real one that's like eight, thousand pounds and then there's a fake one that's like 0 0.1 ounces and so I had to hold the real one the whole time and in the middle of the scene I would be like <laughs> finally she just puts it down and actually it worked and then I was like guys I can't hold it this long you need to give it a fake one please and they did but most of the time I have to use the you're the most kick butt girl on set, I gotta say, or like actor on set. Oh, yeah. <laughs> she that is awesome. To answer the question, the walk is awesome. Amazing. Um, <laughs> one of my favorite things about the trailer was so much Carol and Daryl goodness mm. in it. Friendship bracelets, I felt like my heart was gonna explode. How does it feel knowing that you got to have so many scenes with Melissa this year, considering there's so many diehard Carol Daryl fans out there? You know, that. I mean, that scene was a very sweet scene, mm -hmm. but I gotta, you know, Melissa's lovely, but Carol has been a real pain in my butt for Daryl this season. I will say, is butt a sweat word? Swear word? No. Okay, cool. You yeah, use butt. pain in my butt. Yeah. Good job. Thank you, thank you. Um, but it's I love working with Melissa. She's mm -hmm. she's dynamite. Um, we have such a good rapport, and we're good friends, and we have fun. Yeah. See, for me, when. Uh, Ezekiel and uh, Denai kissed. I was it's like, rough, "Ooh, right? this, this." No, I thought it opened the door for you and Carol. Really? That, that was my next question. See, I was like, "Oh, good." Really? Did really? that mean that this could be the year? Do you think that Carol, Carol, Carol? Yes. Do you think hey, this relax. is the year that they could <laughs> ever have a romantic spark? I don't know if it's this year, but because, um, like I say, she's a little bit cray cray this year. <laughs> um, but I mean, you know, never say never. But I don't know. She's. She's a problem this year, you know what I'm saying? Well, Jeffrey, we gotta talk about the fact that we have your two besties in here right now. We have your yeah. on-screen bestie yeah. with uh, Kaylee playing yeah. Judith, and then we have your off-screen bestie. <laughs> yeah. So we're gonna play the bestie friend. Uh -oh. Okay. oh. Oh, yeah. Okay, so, <clears throat> for both of you guys, if your bestie was hungry on set, what would you bring him for a snack? Chocolate fondue. <laughs> wow. Well, you just want or, I, or yeah. pizza. He loves wow. pizza. Okay. Wow. Pizza. wow. Okay. Wow. Norman. I was gonna say Sorry. Skittles. I <laughs> Zero points so far. I've never seen him eat Skittles. Okay. So, Kaylee. Have you seen him eat chocolate Kaylee fondue? Yeah. No, you haven't. When your bestie, when you can't find your bestie in between takes on set, what is he usually doing? Trailer. Him? Yeah. Yeah. Trailer. Chilling in his trailer. Or he'll he'll go sit down. I'm used to trying to learn my lines. <laughs> <laughs> uh, lastly, what is your favorite part about working with your bestie? Motorcycle riding. Ooh, I never got to do that. That's we'll a, teach you that's next year. That's not working. But it, well, I, I mean, to ride yeah, to set on a yeah, motorcycle. Yeah, come on, yeah, come on. Good point, good point. What's your favorite part of acting with him? I, I, I guess the on screen relationship that you have is really cool. Yeah. Yeah. We have nice chemistry. Yeah. Yeah. <coughs> let, let, let me have yeah, chemistry. we do too. Yeah. Oh, okay, We're not right. leaving you <laughs> Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Um, but will we get to see a little bit more of a crossover between Negan and Daryl? Because they've had a little bit of a, a headbutting relationship, but I feel like they might need to put their past aside and come together this year. I think that uh, I think that's the direction that we could be heading. I think mm -hmm. the whispers. Uh, are an enemy that uh, all hands on deck, and I think that uh, Daryl recognizes that. And and I think that, uh, the, the, that these two characters may find a little bit of common ground within within this world, uh, which is kind of fun. But just able to work with him this year, it's been a long time, and we've never really worked together. So to have a couple scenes together has been a joy. Hashtag Deegan. Deegan. Ooh. Yeah. All right. Deegan. Ne Meryl. Half hashtag Meryl. Meryl sounds like a hair product. Meryl. 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 <laughs> yeah. Deegan's that? better, Deegan. right? Yeah. Deegan. And then we just want Judith to be friends with everyone, so that's what I'm rooting for. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yes. she, she rocks. Yeah, she's great. Thank you guys so much for yeah. sitting down with me. I really appreciate it. Thank you so much, Walking Dead fans, for watching. Keep it locked to ET. We're coming to you live from Comic-Con the rest of the day. Bye. Yes. Bye. Bye.